Hi, my name is Erin from Stockport and you're watching Chucka Josh on TJV. Hello there, future Josh coming at you. And your future weasel. Guys, always forget about your weasel. Diesel, no one forgets about you. You're the most important thing on this vlog. What do you mean a thing? Most important person. Thank you, mate. I have a secret message for you from the future. This is going to be a two-part vlog. The first part of the vlog, we're gonna be going into Winnipeg. Britt's got her procedure. She's gonna explain all of that in detail in the upcoming clips. After that, we come back home. I've gotta get that new bumper installed on the W900, get it all ready for the road. I also need a power cooler. I'm gonna to have to go find one of those. We'll see what we can find at the store. Thanks for tuning in and watching the vlog I have put together for you. I appreciate it. We have one more day here at home and then we hit the road tomorrow. As you can tell, I'm already on the road. I'm here in Balgoni, Saskatchewan. Oh, that was a that was a spoiler alert. I'm headed west. As for tomorrow's video though, this is today's. All right, let's go into Winnipeg. Let's get that procedure done. It's a very important one. And then uh, let's get that bumper put on the truck. It's a very important bumper. Not as important as the appointment. That's why we're doing the appointment first and then the bumper. And then we'll we'll hit the road. Thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for being you and being there. Click in the video. So an ERA. Do you guys want to know what it is? So it is called an endometrial receptivity. Hold on. That's not the right screen. Sorry guys. Endometrial receptivity array. I thought it was analysis. It's an array. Very fancy. So basically what they're doing is, uh, I'm not sure exactly what tools they're using, but they're going up, sorry guys, through the cervix, and they're biopsying my endometrial lining. They're checking to see if this would be a good time. Wow, that guy just cut in front of you real quick. Mm-hmm. No blinker. Come on, yeah, gave him the stink eye. Get with it, buddy. He cut me off. Anyways, they are checking to see if my lining is ready to receive an embryo. So this is a mock trial month um, where I'm on the same drugs I would be um, for an actual implantation of an embryo. They're basically seeing like, is my body ready? Was it ready a few days ago? Is it gonna be ready in a couple of days? So like, you know, they're trying to pinpoint an exact window because we only have two embryos to work with. Most people have more. Well, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of people have more. So they're basically taking all of the necessary steps to ensure, not ensure success, because they can't guarantee it, but to make our chances better of having a successful implantation. And a baby. A baby. A baby. A skin puppy. A skin puppy. <laughs> Here we are at the big tall building. Big and tall right. for us Manitobans anyways. A little bit anxious about this one. This one's supposed to be pretty, pretty painful according to the doctor and a friend of mine, so who's had it done, so. Good thing you're a strong woman. Took painkillers beforehand. We got this. Good luck. Thank you. Love you. Love you. See you soon. There she goes. This is, this is the one we've been waiting for lately. Not the big, big one yet, but it's one of the bigger ones. I'll just make my way over here to the husband's waiting area. All right, so now I'm just waiting. So she explained what it was. Uh, I figured it was more appropriate for her to explain it because uh, it's not really me that's going through this right now. So uh, for all my new subscribers that have been piling in the last couple of days, welcome. You thought you subscribed to a trucking channel. <laughs> <laughs> if you go down below to the description of my video, it, it describes everything that we're going through and what we're doing, like down below the video there, and it'll show you all my social media links that you can uh, keep up with us at. Yeah, the majority of what I do is uh, truck driving. I just bought Old Blue, and we're headed out tonight. So after this, I bring my wife home, and then I go to the truck, and I got to load out to Alberta, and I got to be back uh, for Friday or Saturday for that open house. I might not make it back for the Friday on the open house. So if you're planning on coming out, just like to see me or the truck, um, 
I'm probably only going to be there on Saturday. Just a heads up so you know, but the open house will still be open from 12 to 5 on Friday. That's the 17th, and on the 18th, we're there from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., I believe. You guys want to come check out Keystone, what we're all about. Uh, but for now, this is a, a big part of my life and a big part of my wife's life. What's going on? So, of course, we, we include it in our vlog here. It's a lot more than just trucking. We also have a lot of family stuff going on, too. But I'm excited also that after this, I get to head towards Alberta and get back in the truck. But one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Let's get this done first. This procedure is supposed to be a little bit painful, from like, like she said. So I wanted to make sure I was here, that I could drive her home and make sure she was comfortable at home first. And then once she says she's good, then we'll head over to Old Blue. I can explain a little bit more than what my description does, just for the new subscribers, because we've had about a, a thousand new people join us in the last month. Uh, my wife and I, we've been trying to start a family since we got married in 2017. And we've been having some uh, difficulties uh, conceiving. And uh, there's nothing wrong with the both of us from what we can understand, other than minor issues. But we are going through the, the fertility process now to have our first child. And that's what this is involving right now. We have, we're going through the IVF process. So we have, like she said, two embryos that are frozen and waiting for the transfer or the implantation. But before we do that, we have to go through this to, so that they know exactly when to implant next month so uh, it's been a long time uh, a long journey to get to this point and I appreciate you guys all hanging out here with us and seeing this side of my trucking life because it's a lot more than just on the road I want to show you what a life my life as a truck driver is both on the road and at home you get an overall view then of what it's like doing what I do so that freaking sucked. <laughs> did it hurt? Yeah, sure did. Does it still hurt? A little bit. I'm not great with pain. Okay. Yeah, I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. So that sucked. I have felt worse pain before, but I was a little bit overwhelmed with that one. That one, we had to go in twice. I had to count to 30 twice while he scraped the samples sucked my legs I was just telling Josh my legs were vibrating like a little hummingbird's wings like I thought the speculum was gonna fall out I was vibrating so, so much but I'm just I'm a wimp when it comes to pain I know some people are a lot braver and more resilient to pain like him I'm not so you know, I'm a bit of a sucky baby but I tell you, this IVF has definitely proven that I'm a lot stronger than I ever gave myself credit for because the old Brittany would have thrown in the towel by now. But, uh, yeah, so that sucked. Expect, expect some bleeding throughout the day. We'll get my biopsy results when I go in for implantation. Uh, the next step will be a week before implantation, I will be going for a lipid infusion. So they're going to inject a certain type of fat into my veins that deactivates the cells in my uterus that would naturally fight things off like um, uh, well, an embryo, <laughs> foreign bodies, things like that, you know, like just things that keep your organs safe. They're going to deactivate them with fat cells. Science is so fascinating. And then we go for the implant and then I take antibiotics so that, you know, no infection occurs or anything, but yeah. Almost there. Almost there. We're getting there. We are headed to Assiniboine Pharmacy right now to drop off my old Sharps container back there and all my extra uh, like pills, all my extra hormones, needles, things like that. But I'm keeping the alcohol swabs because we paid for those and those are hard to come by. COVID nearly abolished the world of alcohol swabs. So we got a gold mine sitting in our house. <laughs> Frank, Chevy, Diesel, there's a wiener there somewhere. Diesel, you worried about your mom? I think he's more worried about you packing up for a trip. No, he's coming with. Oh, is he? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not thinking about this time. You coming to Alberta? There's way too many cows out there for you to miss, man. That's right. Let's see the cows. You ready to go on a trip? That'll be in tomorrow's vlog. 
But how are you feeling now that we're at home? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Any big pain or anything? No. Keeping up with my Advil. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You fed me, so now I'm okay. I had a burrito bowl. Yeah. Feeling good. So, uh, I don't know how many of you guys out there are going through the IVF process. It's very, uh, it's quite the, quite the ordeal for the ladies. It's lengthy. Painful. Yeah. But... There's not much you can't say. <laughs> so what are your plans now that you're at home? Good plan. <laughs> and you gotta work first thing in the morning, eh? Yeah. So I'm just gonna sit, drink lots of water, eat healthy, and watch cheesy British romances. Sounds great. Weasel, weasel, Chevy, Chevy. That's the only rhyme you can come up with? Oh my! Frank! Other Frank! He's the other Frank! Other Frank? I can't tell you guys apart. Frank and other Frank. I'll just call you Wiener. Frank and Wiener. The two Franks. Look at you two cuddling, little cuddle buddies. I just left Kanucky Tire, Canadian Tire, you know what that means, I spent money again. I bought a power cooler for the truck, because the truck doesn't have a fridge. Strange, right? I thought most trucks had fridges. My truck is awesome, however its awesomeness does not extend to the, uh, to the uh, frigid cooling of food levels. So we fixed that by going and buying a mobile cool cooler from Canadian Tire. That's the brand name, Mobile Cool. Because it's super cool and it's mobile. Let's see what happens. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I measured it out. It should fit underneath the bed. If it doesn't, I'm returning it. I have seven days. According to the receipt. Seven days. So I have seven days to cram it under there. We'll figure it out. Before we go to the shop and try it out, uh, I need to get some food. What do you think, Subway? Subway. We don't really, I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on food, but Subway, yeah, Subway. That's better than McDonald's, right? Progress. There's my cooler, can you see it? Show it off to you. Behold, cooling technologies. Green light. Green light. All right, Subway. Subway, Subway, Subway. Don't run over Grandma. Don't run over Grandma. Subway. Yes! It's parked beside the little go-kart. Mmm! Hungry. We're here with Old Blue, and the new bumper came in. It's just a standard bumper. But, uh, this one here has a kink in it. See? It got bent out at one point, and the seller uh, it was part of the sale that he would put a new bumper on here, or get me a new bumper. And I told him that, hey, if you could just bring it to my shop, I'll put it on myself. I don't mind. I, I, I like to keep my hands busy, and I kind of want the, the satisfaction of putting it on myself anyway. So he brought the bumper here yesterday. I'm going to take this old kinked bumper off of here and put the new one on using just regular wrenches. No power tools today. We're going to make this fun. Yeah. <sighs> So I've got a three quarter inch wrench here on the outside and I've got a 18 millimeter, or is it a 19? 19 millimeter on the inside. 
<laughs> it's working. It's working. This is America and Canada coming together, you know? Making our metric systems work together. Or our measuring systems. Here. I've already got the two off on that side. I'm gonna leave these two center ones for last. And I have to be careful with the last one because the bumper's gonna wanna fall off. So I'll probably undo this one first, lean the bumper down, and then do that one last. Got one more up here, yeah. Hand tools today, no power tools. Bragging rights, right? <laughs> if you don't need the power tools, why use the power tools? This is the way they used to do it back in the day. Okay, I got two more bolts. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, well. This bumper's coming off. Okay, we put the 19 millimeter back three quarter inch up here come on let's do it this way oh that's tight that one is very tight <laughs> we'll move on to this one don't waste too much time on things that don't work with you move on and we'll worry about that one later break the bolts off either because uh here get a better angle at this here would you there you go oh, come on oh my oh. yeah. that's one birdie bolt this would be so much easier with my impact but no power tools no power tools we're men. Ooh. That's a reference to the wandering bearded idiot on YouTube. You should go check him out. He's a friend of mine. It's his signature. At least I've made it his signature. He always goes, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> so I don't know what it was about this one, but this one took a quarter, in three quarter inch on the outside, 18 millimeter on the inside. The rest of these all took a 19 millimeter on the inside. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever works, right? I don't care. I got one more bolt to go. This is the stubborn one. With a little bit of elbow grease and help from my neighbor, Matt, next door. Thank you very much, Matt. If you're watching this, I appreciate your help a lot. He came over here and helped me out. We got this bumper finally installed. It's just a factory replacement. But uh, you can see the kink in this one. It came with the truck. And the seller had held up his end of the sale and replaced it. So I'm very happy. It needs to be polished, obviously, cleaned up. Well, it's brand new. It's got fingerprints all over it right now. Uh, this oversized dimension sign has a pre-cutout uh, slot here for the license plate. You see this? And that goes right there. So I'm just drilling the holes for the license plate right now so that it's in line with this OD sign. So that when I put that on the truck, my license plate isn't covered up. Uh, the previous owner had done that, and I thought that was a great idea. I was going to carry that on. There we go. Brand new bumper. What do you guys think? Well, don't give me your opinions yet. Give me your opinion once I clean it up. It's got my fingerprints all over it. And then clean up my mess. Polish up the truck real quick. i got to get those bugs off those stacks up there. It's driving me nuts, and I'm not even looking at them. You're looking at them, though. That's why it's driving me nuts. Gotta get those cleaned off, and then we can go home and shower up. It's me again, future Josh from the beginning. I'm back. It's me, I'm the same guy. So yeah, I got the new bumper on there. We got the IVF procedure done, and uh, waxed up the bumper. It was all nice and polished. It's the cleanest it'll ever be. 
going to have to work hard to keep that thing shining like that. I'll put a picture on here right now that I took of it after I was finished. I had it on Facebook already. If you haven't found me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or TikTok or any of those other things, uh, down below in the description of all my videos, there's all the links. And the description also explains what I'm driving, what's under the hood, and everything. I have a lot of these questions that are being asked in my comment section, and I'm not ignoring you. I'm just letting you know they're already answered in the description of every video. Just, you can just go down there and all your questions are answered. And I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, future Josh is taking off in Old Blue. We're headed west. I hope you join us.